Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and today is day five of spring cleaning, and today we are degreasing and cleaning the kitchen cabinets, okay? So I used, what I did was I put vinegar and dish soap in a spray bottle, shook it up, and I sprayed the cabinets down really well with that, and then I just had a rag with warm water, um, a wet rag, I squeezed it out as best I could so it was just very damp and I just wiped them all down and scrubbed the spots that needed scrubbing. And these, these are the ones that when we're cooking we open to grab spices. So I even scrubbed like the inside of these. Um, but most of them I just did like the fronts. Um, unless it needed to be done on the inside then I did that. So anyway, let's get into it. All right guys, so first off, I'm just finishing this up from yesterday. I am scrubbing the oven racks and my stovetop grates. They soaked in this bathtub of hot water with dishwasher pods overnight. So they sat here for about 24 hours, okay? Um, they came out so well. So this scrub brush is just literally taking off everything. Like it's just coming right off. In just a second, I am actually going to turn the exposure to normal because it's set up high right now and you can't even tell how dirty the water is. But when I set the exposure to normal, you're going to see how really disgusting the water is. Ugh, look at that. So awesome though. And then I just put them out here on this towel to dry. And then I went ahead and got started in my kitchen on um, cleaning the oven. So if you guys watched my video yesterday, I left a baking soda paste all over my oven and I left that overnight. And so um, in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning all of that off and seeing what happened with my oven. All right guys, so I just put straight vinegar into this spray bottle and sprayed it all over everywhere onto the dried up baking soda paste and then I and then I sprinkled more baking soda onto the glass and put more vinegar and that was kind of a mistake because it was just too wet. Um, I needed it. I had to sop, sop it all up with paper towels. But here I am just scrubbing everything, scrubbing everywhere that the baking soda paste was. Um, and literally, you guys, the nasty grime is just wiping right off. It's, it's amazing, like seriously. Okay, now I got my Branch Basics All Purpose and I'm spraying that everywhere. I'm getting everything with a paper towel. Um, the sponge was just, it wasn't working out. Look at that, look on the inside. So the glass obviously could do better, but look at the bottom inside, it's so nice. All right, so that was just baking soda and water and lemon essential oil that I had pasted all over it. Just go watch yesterday's video and see what I did. Um, I wanted to clean my oven in a non-toxic way. No chemicals. It looks really good. And here is how the stove grates came out. They look a million times better. A million times better, you guys. And then in here, a million times better. These came out so nice and clean. And there's that.
Alright guys, so the first thing I'm doing is just removing everything from the counters and getting it ready for me to be able to stand up there and get those top cabinets. So after I got up there, I realized I wanted to show you guys up close the before of the tops because it was so bad. Like, uh, look how dusty. So bad. Um, so yeah, I got down just to grab my camera to show you guys a close up. Look at the difference here from that one to the next. It's such a huge difference. Even if I try to leave you still make me want to stay You ask me to believe In the words that you say But I can't be strong If you can't move on Don't you think we've had enough Of the trauma you bring Ain't you tired of thinking we I have no idea when my camera shut off, but I am going to show you some before and afters now, and I'll see you tomorrow.
all right guys so here's the after so just um just know that my cabinets are painted with chalk paint and i 100 percent do not recommend ever painting your cabinets with chalk paint okay because stuff like this stains forever it won't come off there's other stains that won't come off but overall they look a million times better i even scrubbed the toe kick and the edge along where the toe kick meets the floor the edge where the toe kick meets the floor was really bad i don't know if it's gonna be um obvious in my before video but i will try to take a snapshot from the before video and show you what i'm talking about but it was really bad you guys like really bad and then the backsplash as well so much better all right you guys thanks for watching i will see you in tomorrow's video